that you be on your own. Hey, Tiger Lily Squad. You know what it is. Week two, day three. Um, my face is hecka shiny because I put this mask on. Let me show y'all. It's like a nighttime mask or something like that. I had Target. This Revive Go Sleep Mask. And it says to put it on your... Um, do your facial care and put it on as like the last step or put it as a moisturizer and leave it on till the next morning and rinse it off. So that's what I'm about to do right now. But um, then I need to get something quick in my stomach because on the challenge, she only wants you to do fasted cardio. She don't want you to do all your cardios um, lightheaded. She doesn't mind if you do it, if that's your choice to do, but because there's like a 12 hour window of eating, um, the later you eat, the like, I don't wanna eat past, I'm trying my best to not eat past like eight o'clock. Um, sometimes the latest would be at 8.39, which is okay. I just, I, I wanna try to not eat after eight. So that means usually why I get pushed back so late is because of the time that I choose to start cooking. Um, so we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, but I'm about to wash my face and then I'm probably gonna eat a banana real quick and drink some of that celery juice that I told you guys about. Um, and then I'm gonna get to my workout, so. Come with me, darlings. Tiger lilies. Come with me, darlings. So when that call comes, you better stay hello. Do y'all wash y'all hands first before you wash your face? I just started doing that. Water cold, nah. Then they woke me up, nah. So this is my second week on the program, and we're halfway done. Um, with week one, then we'll be half. I mean, week two, and then we'll be halfway done with the the challenge or program, and um. On both programs, the one I was doing before and this one, I just feel like my stomach is not going down like I want it to. But I want it, see my problem is, is I want it to go down to a speedy pace. I can't do that because I have to realize that it didn't take a speedy pace for it to come up. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times we don't, we be rushing the process for um, fast results because we're looking at everybody's things. So I'm in this, the group, um, the group, Facebook group, and she's showing that a lot of people, and a lot of people are telling her how they lost six pounds in the first week. And I'm just like, huh? How the heck y'all losing six, six pounds in the first week? If y'all eating as much as she's telling y'all to eat, and even working out, and you working out hard, say you even work, and a lot of them talking about they ain't even pushing through. So what the heck are you eating that you lose it? That don't even sound right to me. I'm sorry. That don't even sound right. Well, I can't tell nobody how their journey is. That's their journey. That don't even sound right. Six pounds, fam. <laughs> I'm still on that. Six pounds. Mm -hmm. Cut that joint in half. Put the other in the fridge. Had that for a snack lighter. Drink my juice. Chairs. You want some first? I know you do. 
Here you go. Here. Okay. Is it good? Did you like it? I remember when I did a juice cleanse with Suya, Suja, Suya. I did it in New York and I bought the um, seven day cleanse. No, the three day cleanse. Girl, I had an attitude for three days. Juice cleanse. I ain't eat nothing. Like I snuck in like pieces of cheese and stuff because I felt like so lightheaded. But girl. This was the worst. Ugh, I hated this one. I feel guilty because usually on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, I go outside to do like a pre-workout type situation. Like I'll go run or walk or jog or whatever my spirit tells me to do. Um, and I, I decided this week I ain't going to do it. I'm just going to focus on the actual program. And the actual eating at home. Because I want to see these results that people talking about they getting by just doing this. You know what I'm saying? Like not doing no extras. Because y'all not about to fool me and gas me up and got the lie to the kids. I ain't about to do that. No. I don't know what I did, but I feel super nauseous and like dizzy. I just finished working out, by the way, but in the middle of working out, I pushed through and finished the whole thing, but I didn't give my max because I just felt like I was about to pass out. And I felt like I kept wanting to throw up. And it just, I just felt, I don't, I don't know. I didn't wake, well, I kind of did wake up like this, actually. I woke up to use the bathroom. I don't know, bro. I'm going to take it easy today, though. I have some work to do, but... I'm going to take it easy. I'm going to listen to my body. I'm going to take it easy. I'm not going to push it. If I feel better, then I'm going to get up and like do some work and stuff. But, whoa. Like, sitting right here, I just feel, I don't know. I don't know, kitty cats. I don't know. I don't know. All right, y'all, so I'm feeling a little better. I'm still, like, I don't know. Today, I just feel out of it. So I was going to work, like I told y'all, but I'm just going to use this as, like, a rest day, legit, like, just a recoup, rejuvenate. I just came, like, literally been sitting right there since I finished working out and just got up like uh, 45 minutes ago to take a shower and then I made breakfast I actually I'm gonna tr wanted pancakes so I bought these Kodiak cakes uh, power cakes they're protein packed they're 100% whole grain um, it's the serving size for this 
is half a cup which is 53 grams it's supposed to make about three four inch flat cakes um i will show you what how much i got and then i just topped it off with some cinnamon um but this is it right here uh two turkey bacons uh egg whites i used the rest of the carton so that's done and then it made two pancakes but this one on the bottom got od burnt we're gonna cover her up sis and um yeah uh for lunch i have these potatoes i'm gonna make some potato wedges in the air fryer but i want to soak them for a little bit because uh, i don't want to boil it so i'm gonna soak it for a little while and then when i'm ready to cook it then i'm gonna season it up but i'm gonna bring you guys along with just talking now i just i come i really just feel out of it i don't know what is going on I feel really nauseous, my head hurts, and I didn't feel like this yesterday. And it started literally when I jumped out of bed. I moved out of bed so fast because I had to pee and I was holding it in, I was being too lazy. And then it just, it was like, girl, we about to explode. So I jumped out fast and I got a little dizzy. Then I was sitting on the toilet a little dizzy and then it's just been like that ever since. So I'm just gonna relax. Um, my mom said to get my pressure checked, but I'm just gonna relax. I legit don't feel like going anywhere. So if I keep feeling like this um, later on or tomorrow, then I'll for sure go get my pressure checked. But I just wanted to keep you guys posted and I will talk to you soon. Let me tell y'all how much I love this invention called the air fryer, sis. Yo, love it. But the potatoes that I had uh, soaking earlier, I just tossed them in olive oil with some seasonings. Um, I used the 21 Seasoning Salute. I used a little bit of, well, a lot of the lemon pepper because I wanted that flavor and just a dash the lemon pepper sorry and just a dash of the tonies and i coated it with olive oil i mean avocado oil it was in the air fryer for um 400 so i'm gonna for 10 minutes so i'm gonna put it back in the air fryer for another 400 for 10 more minutes because i want to uh, crash course let me hide the money in the dashboard Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the Porsche Goofy with the curve, then asking me for intercourse